Hey guys, it's John with Long Haul Lifesavers and today we're going to do another how-to video and we're up on the roof of our RV, so stay tuned. Today we have a couple issues with our lap seal, especially where the end cap meets the, the roof. It's starting to get cracked, so we're going to scrape off that old lap seal and then put new down and we're going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how to do that. A few simple tools you're going to need to do this project. You want to make sure you have a plastic paint scraper. You don't want to use a metal because you can cut the TPO roof on an RV. Once you get the old lap seal off with this, you're going to go ahead and clean it. Clean the area where you're going to put the new lap seal down and then what I like to do is create kind of a barrier so the lap seal doesn't run everywhere. We're going to do that with just basic caulk. Let that dry so it has a border for where you can put the lap seal in and it doesn't run over. And then you're going to put the new lap seal in between that border of caulk. So let's get started. Now there's no real special way to do this. What I like to do is I like to work from the painted surface away so that I don't go through here and scratch the painted surface. That's actually dirt that's just gotten embedded into the lap seal because it's supposed to be this gray color. When you're going through and scraping all this off, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure all this dirt color is off because the new lap seal won't adhere to this. It's not sticky, whereas if you get to this side, it's sticky and tacky. So you want to make sure all this brown stuff is off. As you can see, it comes off pretty easily. Just scrapes right off. So just like I was scraping from the painted surface in, you also want to work from your roof in as well because if you just go straight along, your roof will start to bubble up and you can put holes into it. So it's best to work it to this edge and then come back and gently scrape along and it'll lift right up. That's the pile of the old lap seal. Morgan's going to clean this edge. Now what we're going to do is we're not actually going to clean the rail where the lap seal is going to go. We're going to clean the outside of both edges so that way when we put down the caulk barrier it's going to adhere to the roof but still allow us to peel it up once the lap seal is dry. barrier is somewhat dry we're gonna go ahead and put down we're using the Dicor lap sealant self-leveling and I went ahead and got tan because our roof is tan and most of our rig is tan so I don't know why they put gray on here this is what we're using so there is kind of a trick to using this you want to cut this tip on an angle and then you want to make sure that this sealant definitely gets in where the roof meets the end cap so this edge right here and then this edge right here go along and put a big bead of sealant right here along this edge and then come on this side and do a big sealant along this edge and then I come back and fill in the top with a liberal amount over the top of it.
got the edge of the rail done where the roof meets the end cap go through and do a skim coat over the whole top of the rail so that it will self level and cover everything that we need covered so that we don't get any water where the roof meets the end cap. Now you are going to go through a lot of this lap seal and it is expensive. I would say for this you're probably going to use two or three of this lap sealant. So just pre be prepared because this is like 14 bucks a piece. So it's going to be a little pricey. can see that he's applying it just to the top rail there and then the weight of it it just kind of that's where that self leveling comes in it it slides down the sides so I know a couple people are gonna be like well you don't have to do this cock barrier and that's fine if you don't want to do it I just take it as an ex extra step so you can see in some locations like over here the lap seal didn't go all the way down to the barrier which is fine but over here it did and if this barrier wasn't here, it would have just continued to run down into my roof further than what it needed to be. So yes, it's an added step. Do you need to do it? No, but I always do. I would recommend it. I'm on the roof and I hate being on the roof. But you Tough needed, titty. But you needed help. Yeah. <laughs> just a little PS, I guess. The white cock barrier that we put up there, if you don't like it being up there, it's it's not hurting anything, it's not sealing anything, so you can leave it up there. But at any time, once that's dry, you can come up here with that plastic scraper that we used and take off that white cock if you don't like the looks of it. Yeah, and it's super easy to remove. You just literally get a little piece going and then grab a hold of it and pull, yeah. and it's like rubber. It just pops right off, so yep. it doesn't leave any residue or marks or anything like that. Let's get off the roof, it's hot. It is hot. It's 94% humidity today. Welcome hot. to Kentucky. <laughs> if you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you got some good content out of this. But until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and then head on over to Instagram and follow us at Long Haul Lifesavers. See you guys.